G'day YouTube, what's going on? Um, I thought I'd make a quick video just to show you this air dryer that I've put together. Now, I'm a spray painter for a living. Um, if you spray paint at home, this is a little device that you will find very, very helpful, especially if you're running a smaller compressor. This is a device that you can put together at home and it will really help with the results of your spray painting and the quality of your spray painting. Um, so what it is, basically, you can see here, this is just the airline that I'm running. I've got two big compressors sitting in the back. Um, this is actually for a mate of mine. It's his birthday. He's got a small compressor. He works at home. So I thought I'd put this together for him because I knew he'd find this really useful. Um, but I'll run you through the basic principles of how it works. Um, so, airline coming in. Heads down into little radiator system that we've got happening here. Now, this is actually just an oil cooler uh, from a car ordered on eBay, I think it was around 50 odd dollars or so. Um, a little thermo fan, that's a 12 volt thermo fan, um, 80 watt. And what I've ordered for it to power it is a, that is a 12 volt converter. So converts from 240 volt um, electricity down into 12 volt and powers the fan. Now that connection there will actually be uh, locked off um, and it will be hooked directly into the compressor, but I'm waiting for my mate to pick it up. Um, I just wanna obviously show him how it works. Um, when we get to his house, we'll cut that off. And what we'll do is those lines, those um, power lines there will be sliced into the ports of his motor that drive the motor. So the, uh, it'll go straight into the compressor ports that power the motor on. Um, and so whenever the compressor gets powered on itself, what will happen is in turn, it will power up the fan. So whenever the compressor is running, the fan will be running at the same time too. Obviously, the fan will shut off when the compressor is not running, um, so we've got a good working system there. Um, <clears throat> so, air comes in, it gets cooled down by the cooling system, um, heads down into the tank, into a port that I put in the bottom here. Now, heads up to the top of the tank, that's the outlet there for the top of the tank, into a regulator, and then your airline is simply plugged straight into there, um, and that will go out to your gun or whatever air tool that you're trying to use. Now, the, the beauty of this system, and, and why I'd highly recommend this, especially if you're running a smaller compressor at home, um, one thing when you're spray painting that is super duper important is your air flow. Now, where you pick up air flow is from volume in your system. Let's say, for example, you're running a 50 litre tank. If you put something like this in, I think this is roughly 100, 110 litres, this tank. What it means is that you get less fluctuations um, with the pressure at your gun. If you've got a small tank, as you use your spray gun, what you'll find is the pressure at the nozzle starts to drop um, quite quickly. So what you'll have to do is turn the regulator up at the base of the gun um, to compensate for that. And when you're constantly doing that through a spray job, you can get a very uneven job, especially when spraying base coat. The last thing you want is massive fluctuations in your pressure, especially if you're spraying a metallic paint, for example, what you want um, is a nice, even, consistent airflow. Now, what this does is because there's so much volume in the system, it means that the, it takes longer for the air to dissipate when you're pulling the trigger of your spray, can, spray gun. Um, so in turn, your pressure drop is, is slower. But it also means that when your compressor kicks on, um, if you've got quite a powerful compressor, what you can find is sometimes that the pressure gets raised too quickly. Now, by adding heaps of extra volume into the entire system, it means that those pressure fluctuations caused by the gun taking air and the compressor feeding air, they become smaller. So you get a much more consistent airflow. So if you're doing a larger project, um, certainly a hell of a lot easier. If you're spraying a whole car, you definitely want something like this, um, especially if you're running a smaller compressor. Now, the other thing that people um, sometimes underestimate how important to get a really good finish on your um, on your job is the quality of your air. Now, when a compressor compresses air, it heats up and there's moisture trapped in that system. A system like this, what it will do is remove that moisture from the air, well, a good majority of it anyway, by cooling it down. So what happens is when that air gets really hot, the moisture is trapped in the air. Um, as it cools down, it allows the moisture to condense and drop out of the air. Um, in this system, what it means is that the air, uh, sorry, the moisture will basically get trapped at the bottom. Um, you've got a drain valve there. Um, you can release it and it will allow the moisture to go freely. Now that's just, uh, it's a bit hard to see, but underneath there, it's just got a T-piece coming out um, whereby it's hooked into the drain valve. So 
a system like this, once again, if you end up with lots of moisture um, in your air, you're going to find that it's going to lead to imperfections in your paintwork. Now, especially too, if your compressor is running constantly, which tends to happen if you've got a small compressor and you're spraying a large job, if it's running constantly, the compressor is running very hot, um, you get a lot of blow by it. And what I mean by that is you get a lot of water gets blown straight into your air lines and you can put filters on the end of guns, but you still inevitably, you tend to get a little bit of that moisture um, will still come through. Um, I've had it before where I'm running filters through guns, you know, right at the end when I had the, you know, crappier setups. Um, and I'd find that number one, it would start to restrict airflow, but number two, if the filter got too full, which they can often do, um, sometimes they will bust out and I've had water come leaking out straight onto my fresh paintwork and totally destroy the job. So a system like this will pretty much take out um, a good, probably I'd say 80 or 90% of the air and you'll get much better quality um, finishes. You know, if you have water um, that's coming through your spray yarn onto your job, um, especially when you start spraying clear coat, you'll find you'll get little, you know, things like little fish eyes, you'll get things like, you know, little dimples in the paint, um, you know, these little bubbles. Um, a lot of that is caused by dirty air, that's moisture in the air, it's also oil in the air. So a system like this, what it will do is it will alleviate a lot of those problems for you. Um, it will take the majority of the air, uh, sorry, majority of the moisture out of the system for you. You'll get a better quality paint job, but also too, you will get much better flow out of your gun, less fluctuations up and down in the pressure at your gun. But anyway, I hope this has been helpful for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below and I'll try and answer them. Um, but if not, have a good day.